Okay, hi everybody. Um, I promised in the Simplified group that I would um, do a video showing how to use um, color more intuitively. Um, I did have a video in the in the the group. I did post a, a video in the group. Some of you may have seen it, where I just chose three colors out of a pile of co uh, tubes of color. And I showed what I would, how I would use those in a, those three colors in a palette. And what I really want you to see um, today with this video and that video, if you want to go back in the Simplify group and check it out, um, is that color, any color, can work with a palette. You can make a pa create a palette from any colors. But what's most important besides the fact that you, you know choose colors that you like or choose colors that you love or do something choose colors that do something for you <clears throat> what's more important than that is that you put in your when you're choosing your palette that you make sure that you have light medium and dark colors and also that you simplify your color choices um, too much just doesn't seem to go. In my opinion, it's just, it's not easy enough and it just doesn't look as good when there's too much color. So I like to start off with less and then maybe if I want to or need to, I add as I go. Okay, so I had done already some, a little bit in this uh, sketchbook and I wanted to show you my findings. Um... So I had used a blue and an orange here. And I mean, we know that blue and orange is opposite on the color wheel, <clears throat> so it's complementary. Um, that is a color, um, <clears throat> you know, a choice that you can use. Uh, it looks good together, usually. I used these two colors. Um, but I went further and I, I took the blue and I added white and I added a little bit of black. I took the orange and added a little bit of white and a little bit of black. And I made in total six colors. It would work as a palette. I wouldn't use it as a palette myself because intuitively it's too many colors for me. I don't love that many colors in in a, a painting so I would probably take out a couple of colors but this is kind of the way I start and you know if you have four or five colors and you mix it with you mix some with black and some with white to make your lights and darks you're gonna have several colors and it's gonna get very confusing when you start to paint so I think simplifying really works and it works with composition and it works with your color choices. So over in here, I used this um, gray green, green gray, and I used the orange. Again, two colors that look really pretty together. Um, I added white with the gray green and made a pretty minty type gray green. And then I added black and made a dark um, gray, uh, green, kind of a greenish black. The orange, I went ahead and mixed these two together and that made this color. Now, if you wanted, um, in, in my opinion, it, it doesn't, you know, it's not what you might like, but I wouldn't put all five colors in a palette. I wouldn't do that. I would probably take one of them out and it's the, it would be this one because it's one that I don't like. So, you know, when we when we're learning when we're learning color theory, there isn't much talk about, well, what do you like? You know, what color um, combination do you like? I think we have a really good intuition as artists, what we like and what we don't like. And I think if we gravitate toward that, 
we can make much better um, color decisions and color choices. So anyway, that is what I did earlier before the camera went on. And um, yeah, the important, the important things are, do I like it? Am I using colors that I like? Not that using colors that you don't like won't stretch you and, and you may like those later on. You know, that's always a good practice. But it's really good to pick out a few colors, one to three, and then practice using them, which I'll show you right now what I do. Practice using them, mix them with black and white, Mix them together um, and see what you come up with. And then I want to show you what I'll do. I'm going to use these three. And then I want to show you what I'll do with them. This is this wouldn't normally be a, a great um, palette. There isn't any dark. There isn't any real light. Real, real light or real, real dark. Um, I do love the colors. So I'm going to see what will happen when I mix with white and black. I guess what I want to what I want to really say is don't worry so much about what color you're using. Worry more about your values of your colors. So here we have these. I'm just going to use a palette knife. To get them on a white sheet. That one is really trans transparent. This one is more opaque. That one's kind of somewhere in between. So after they're on the, the white like that, this one really shows very pink. And then adding white. I mean, from time to time, I just like to grab colors like this and just play with them and see what I can come up with. So the white with the I don't know what this color amethyst. It's kind of a pinkish. The white with the blue. Beautiful baby blue. And then the white with the purple color. It's a pretty lilac color. And then with black, sometimes the bit black will surprise you.
that's a beautiful dark so when you need a dark in your painting you know you can add black and it's still going to have harmony and then the black with the blue makes a beautiful gray and then the black with the la the purple lavender purple Makes a really pretty. Grayed lavender. Okay, so within these colors, you can make your choices for your painting. And within the colors, you can choose. I wouldn't use them all. I just wouldn't do that. So you can make some choices and choose a light, a medium, a dark, and a, gray, and a neutral. But I would leave out, I would leave out some. I like to usually use a light, a medium, a dark, a neutral, and a bright. That's what I like to do. So, um, and I've never heard that taught in color theory. So anyway, I like to, you know, I would rather teach a way to use color intuitive, more intuitively be by what you are drawn to and what colors you love and then work those around in a way that makes that will make a painting um, and the question would be to ask instead of asking what colors should I use or what colors go well together I think that we all intuitively know and even I have even created color palettes with colors that didn't go good together so I know that that's not actually what is the problem the problem is what is the value of the colors and do you have the light medium and dark a neutral and a bright in the painting so another kind of crazy um, palette would be um, these three colors I just picked them out of the you know my stash of whatever's there and it's two brights it's two neon I use a lot of neon colors you guys I think you know that know that by now um, there's two um, bright colors neon colors neon pink and fluorescent red and then a deep violet and I just gravitate toward these colors so I'm going to use them and see what I can come up with by again um, using white and black and then mixing them together
let's see what it does. You know, the, the paint, they all have different properties too. Some are transparent, some are more opaque. These three colors look like they're very transparent, all three of them. And many times you don't maybe want all of it to be, all of the colors to be transparent. But by mixing it with white and black, you can make them less transparent too. So, but this is more, this is not so much on, um, this is not so much on transparencies or opaqueness, but more on just the color itself, this um, video. Okay, so here we have the three colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm going to mix with black first. a beautiful raspberry <laughs> makes a beautiful raspberry color and then the dark one I will mix with white That's this deep violet. I'll mix that with white because it's already so dark. Comes out to be a real light lavender. And then the fluorescent red. I will mix with black again. This this way of doing your color, you will come out with color that is not like everyone else's, okay? And that's, isn't that what we want? I know I do. Okay, here we have six colors from just what I did with the black and the white and the three colors. And so I would choose from these. I wouldn't do all of them. I wouldn't put all of them in a painting. Not at all. Um, I would probably choose, um, I would definitely have a light, a medium, and a dark. And a neutral. Did I do all those three together? Let's do that. Let's do the three together. Let's see what, how that works. <clears throat> I lost my palette knife. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, let's do all three together. Orange. Let's see what that does. Just for fun, I have no idea what it's going to do. I just... I don't want to. Okay. 
Never great. You know, what you want to do is you want to get excited about the color. And I would say this, this is what I would choose as I look at it right now. I would choose these four right here. I would choose these four and I would probably lighten if it were me and I were was going to use this in a painting. So this is how I choose my colors, you guys. I would probably take this orange, this neon orange. Can you see that? And lighten it a little bit. For a little bit more um, drama, or put put some of this light in there, in with it, in with what's there. Yep, that's it. That would be that would be what I would choose out of all of that. So still. Do your, you know, choose your, choose some colors, one to three colors, any of them, any colors, if you like them, if you don't like them even. And then go ahead and mix them with the white, mix them with the black, and then pull out a light, a medium, a dark, a neutral, and a bright. If you don't have any brights, some, sometimes some colors are brighter than others, like you can see that this is brighter than this. So that's all, you don't have to have neon colors to do this. And after you do two or three of these, or four of them, what is the palette that you are most drawn to? And, and don't forget, um, pull out, you'll have like this with several colors, you'll have several colors there like that. And then pull out the ones of those colors that you love the most, and leave the ones you don't like so much, and then create several different palettes like that and keep the ones that you love. And I think it's just a real good exercise to do. It's, it really can kind of bring out your intuitive, um, you know, your intuitive juices. And you will start to see color in a different way and you will be more successful in your color choices when you go to paint. So thank you for watching and um, I'll see you back in the Simplify group.